Hey everybody, David Lemon here. We had a recent update to Groove Pages where we added on a bunch of stuff, improved and fixed quite a few things as well. So let me just show you around and, and explain what is new. So first things first, we added on the ability to name your blocks. Whenever you choose a block, here you can see there is a little pencil icon which allows you to type in the name of your blocks. Once you type in, let's just type in opt-in, you need to press this check mark and now whenever you are going and choose something to link to a block, you'll not see block one, block two, block three, but you will actually see the name that you typed in. So in case you want to anchor links or navigation or buttons or anything to different parts of the page, you can now name your blocks and link to that part of the page, which is pretty awesome. We added on another thing which is making things easier. We removed the red drag handles and we added on a little spacing icon which you can activate the white drag handles and you get the spacing hover box over here. We we removed these red drag handles because they were causing issues with the responsiveness but now with this system this is actually making it the the similar way but you are managing it in numbers so you can really see what you are doing not only that you can see it on this hover and the floating option but whenever you are doing any kind of spacing the the actual spacing will immediately reflect in the style editor as well so let's just choose something on here and as you can see it is also being modified immediately on the right hand side sidebar in the editor not only that but if you see you can you can immediately see that there are some changes in the numbers previously we had uh, different numbers on here and now we made it from zero till 100 so it's much smoother spacing uh, that you can manage and we also did one change where you can manually type in the the numbers that you would like for the spacing of the padding and margins the next thing that we added is a universal video element if you if you go into your elements tab and you click on video player and you drag out the video player on the canvas you can click on the actual element and configure it to be a different video source so if you want Vimeo, Vistia, YouTube or Groove Video so in my case all my videos are called default so if I just start typing the name of the video I will be able to click on the actual video name and select one from my Groove Video library once you did that you need to make sure that you actually have the video playing in the or the video uploaded in your Groove video library in order to allow the this kind of importing. We also added another thing which is very very handy in case you would like to add on some images to your uh, to your pages you can now go and choose an image and now you have my files free stock photos and if you already connected to it you'll also have Uzign. Uzign is one of our partners that we that we work with and this is basically a similar tool like Canva for creating images. The Uzign integration is available in case you go to the upper right hand side corner hamburger menu my integrations and here you can add on an integration which is going to be Uzine. Once you connect with your Uzine API key and token, then you are going to be able to import the images that you have in your Uzine account very smoothly just by clicking on an image or just dragging in an image element in here, and then you're going to see the actual Uzine option in the image library here on the top. All of your images from the Uzine application will be showing up in here so you can just simply click on the, the images that you want to import. We also improved our text sizing options. In case you head over to a text element we now have sizing in one number on here. At this moment the numbers are from 1 till 12 but we are going to be making it much smoother which is going to be from 10 till 100 in the next deployment so that you can really um, smoothly size your your text 
We also removed an H2 tag in the Internet Explorer and Firefox compatibility message whenever you were previewing a, a page or a site on different browsers or you wanted to modify your site in different browsers. In the HTML of the pages, there is a, a compatibility message that, uh, that the builder works best with Google Chrome. We now removed one of the tags which was h2 and it was showing up as a as a headline and it was not uh, it was not the best thing to be found by search engines so now we remove that so all is good the navbar drop down menu text wrapping this is another improvement that we did in case you have a block with your navigation bar on here and if you for example let's just bring out this one case you had drop down menus with pages that had very very long names so let's just uh, let's just rename this one groove funnels free offer life time deal okay the actual name of these pages on the on the navigation was was not visible as as this if we added them in a little drop down menu so like this as you can see now they are nicely wrapping up so that each and every page in the drop down menu can be seen on the canvas one other change that we did is a lot of users would like to use the drag bar over here on the scroll bar by clicking on it previously when you hovered over it or you clicked on it the drag bar was still there but it was not displaying with this pink uh, pinkish color so at this moment we removed that hover effect of of it disappearing so now you can nicely click on it and then drag it around we also did some speed optimizations in the block section. Whenever you click on the block, it immediately opens up and you can immediately see all the blocks that uh, that are loading in very, very fast uh, without any any delay. Previously, it, there were a couple of seconds delay and even more in case you had a lot of your favorites, um, favorite blocks saved. There's another subtle change that we added is when you click on an element, we don't need to click on a pencil icon anymore the style editor immediately shows up so that you can continue either working on your uh, elements or designing your elements with the style editor we added an interesting feature that not a lot of page builders have and this is a forms will pre-populate with a cookie so in case you have a form on the first page of your of your landing page let me just find let's just say MailChimp if you have a form which is asking for an email and the form input is basically an email input like this and after somebody filled out this form you are redirecting them over to another page and you're asking them to type in the email again they will not need to do that anymore because the forms will pre-populate this is something that we added on for the forms in groove pages forms in groove cell and also groove mail forms so in case you are having something like a butterfly marketing system like what we have on groovefunnels.com you fill out the form once on the first page and on the upsell page you will not need to fill out this information again because we will have it saved we will have it cooked in so that it will pre-populate for your customers so they can much smoother uh, so they can have a much smoother purchase process we also worked on our responsiveness and this was uh, last week already so now we removed all of our toggle switches from here in the sidebar and we we managed it so that when you turn this on this is the all screens toggle we also gave you a nice little explanation of what is the change and where the changes will be applied in case you turn this off then you can design each and every page separately so that you can make sure all look good but my suggestion is design in all screens and then if you need to do any kind of changes then go into that device and do your changes in there we also added some more functionality in our linking options so in case you have a button or a text that you want to link somewhere inside the configure options we now have added two more options for linking to blogs and carts this works very sim very similarly as our groove video search so at this moment in case you have a 
a blog, you can very easily search for it. So if you type in the name of your blog, you can find it very easily. Once you click the, the blog, you click the update and now this button is connected to the actual blog that you created inside GrooveBlog. Similarly for your cards, this is for GrooveCard. In case you want the link to go directly to the shop, then you can just find your shop over here. Let's just click on this one and click update. And now we have connected our button to a shop that we have in our GrooveCard library. We also improved our publishing settings that may be very handy for the future. We not only changed how it looks like, we also changed some functionality. So now you have the option to publish it, publish your page to a custom domain that you connected to Groove or a Groove Pages subdomain. Once you connect to a subdomain, you can choose the folder that you want to publish in. After you decided this folder structure, then you can go and publish to a website or publish the whole website with all your pages on here. Or you can decide only to publish the, the current page that you worked on. This is something that we needed to add for, for a long time. That it was a expected change because a lot of times when you published your whole website, some changes happened also on the previous sites where you just click the save button and you don't, you didn't publish it. You didn't decide that you want to publish, but you just click the save button. And once you publish your website, all of those changes will go live. Now we added a only a current page publishing option. Whenever you are working on one of your pages and you want to just publish the changes that you added onto this page, then you can click this current page publishing. And once it publishes, it will be much faster than publishing the whole website with all of your pages. So once it do it's done, we'll have a nice little green box saying that the publishing has been done. And immediately after that, once the button goes red, you can see three buttons that uh, one is for go to the link, the second one is copy to clipboard, and the third one is to publish again. In case you have any changes on your page, you can just very simply click the publish button. Similarly, this is happening also for the website. In case you go, in case you want to go to the website, you can click here. In case you want to copy the website link, you can click this button and also publish the whole website. You can click this button on here. So these were the improvements. Let's just mention some of the fixes that we that we added into the new version of Groove Pages. And the first one is when you are managing the domains and you want to add a TXT record. Previously, when you were typing in your TXT records, the the content wasn't wrapping up, so the the content was just sliding over to the to the right hand side, and it was just doing this. Now onto the fixes. We added on a couple of different fixes uh, and bug fixes that were causing some issues in the builder. The first one is some new container elements when you added them on the page. They didn't have the layout settings for positioning. So if you clicked on it, then you went to the layout and these positioning options weren't showing up in certain cases. It was not for, for every user, but certain users reported that we got that fixed. There was also a button that is the button with an icon. This button had issues with the icon positioning. Now, in case you have an icon, normally it shows up to the right, but if you would like to have it on the left, this was giving issues. Now, as you can see, it is not happening anymore. It has now been fixed. We also had an issue when you were typing long text without any kind of stopping. It was actually going out the, bo the barriers of the, of the container. It was not wrapping up nicely. Now we added that change and this makes the text wrap up nicely inside the, the elements container. We had a change also for long site names that were extending onto other sites in the My Sites menu. So in case you go out to your 
Groove Pages My Sites menu, and you had a long name on here. The name was going over to the other sites. Now we added a, a nice little wrapping, which is going to make your sites just have a little three dots uh, so that it doesn't show the whole name and goes over to the other sites. We also did a change and a fix for the hiding of the elements. In case you clicked on an element, The next change we added is when you go into a site and you want to change something on another change we added is when you want to click on an element and hide it on certain devices the hiding functionality for for example if we click on this button if we want to hide something we use the non functionality over here this non functionality had some trouble in hiding different elements and different cases on different uh, screens so now that is not happening anymore whenever you're editing something it is going to hide on the screen and it is going to hide the actual element that you selected we also had some settings that were not applied when you switched the all screen devices on so basically when you are applying some changes on all the screens some of the text settings and some of the spacing settings were not changing on all the screens so now we have managed that and fix it we also had some background alignment issues recently that was reported by some customers and now if you have a background and you want to align the image then you can do it now very simply with the actual image alignment options On the free accounts, whenever you're publishing a page, there is going to be a black bar. One of the buttons, which is saying report site for spam and abuse, uh, when clicked, it was it was broken. It was just opening a blank page. Now it actually reports the site to us so that we can do further actions on that. We also had on some legacy sites, this drop down navigation menu was broken. The people were not seeing any of their pages. They were uh, they were accessing their pages from here, but this drop down was not actually showing all of the pages that were happening here. Um, so that has been fixed as well. And also when you had a Groove video embedded onto your pages and, and the visitor, the viewer wanted to make this Groove video embed full screen, the video came out very blurry and distorted. Now we have fixed that issue as well, so it's not going to happen anymore. So ladies and gentlemen, these are the changes that we added to Groove Pages. I hope you like it. These are quite some uh, some interesting changes. Some of the fixes that were uh, overdue, now we got them in. And now we are going to go to the next steps and improve Groove Pages even further.